Yeah, vegans have, I haven't seen um, a, a long-term older vegan ever uh, that does not have an uh, elevated amount of visceral fat when they come in. Is a vegan diet going to leave you skinny fat with excess visceral fat, like you might hear from some of the characters in the low-carb community? Or is a vegan diet going to help you lose weight and reduce your visceral fat, like shown in this study right here? You see, I'm going to show you guys the actual research and then show you what these low carb gurus are saying and this is how they get you. This study is a 16 week randomized clinical trial published originally in 2018. One of the authors is Neil Bernard. This is an open parallel design study so it's not a metabolic ward experiment. The participants in this study were not blinded to their group assignment, meaning if they were assigned to the vegan diet, then obviously they knew they were eating a vegan diet for 16 weeks. Okay, so the people eating the vegan diet lost weight compared to the control group. But not just that, the people eating the vegan diet for 16 weeks verifiably lost visceral fat. Now, I'm not trying to claim that this study shows vegans being compared to people on low carb diets or vegans being compared to carnivores or anything like that. I'm just showing you that this 16 week trial verifiably shows that people who ate this low fat vegan diet for 16 weeks lost visceral fat. So if you're gonna claim that these people who eat vegan diets end up, they all end up skinny fat and then you end up skinny fat, you end up with high visceral fat. Look, the research here doesn't show that. And then what I need you to do to prove your claim is show me research where vegan people long term, which is the claim, end up with more visceral fat. Show me the research, not just, oh, one time I heard something, maybe some patients came in, maybe I don't have a real story here. What I'm showing you on the screen is not actually what I'm talking about. It's just I'm kind of randomly just talking now about some stuff that might have happened, maybe, but can't be verified. Stop doing that, dude. Show data, show a study, publish your case studies. Huh? Now you want to see what these people are saying in their little in their little Zoom meeting chats and then publishing on YouTube to spread fear, uncertainty and doubt about a vegan diet. All right, I'm gonna show you right now. This is how they do you. Because the vegans, the plant-based guys would say that meat causes insulin resistance and diabetes. This guy is eating meat. And you know, I've heard you say this, but I'll ask you this question. Have you ever seen a vegan with visceral fat in them? I have, and and you know um, it, it, what what uh, uh, what what you won't see on the internet is the vegan proponents, especially our vegan uh, physician counterparts. And uh, I'd love to have better relationships with them, but boy, boy, there's some contention. They don't put up their visceral fat scans, and so <laughs> right? it's just not uh, not something that they're I think uh, using is in their tool to take a look at their. The visceral fat. They're fond of, uh, you know, uh, touting uh, cholesterol by eating their their low non-fat diet and eating lots of carbs and, and uh, vegetation. But uh, to answer your question, we've had vegans come in. I've had vegans come in that uh, I remember one encounter. Uh, I wish I had a scan up here to pull it up. I think it's in my Instagram account. If you want to, anybody wants to take a look at that. But. Uh, in in that particular counter, he 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 walked in and he's. I said, "We're going to measure your visceral fat and quantify this, and then you can uh, you can see how your visceral fat will either increase or decrease depending on how you eat." And he looked at me. He's a little bit of all the guys. Says, "Oh well, you're not going to see any visceral fat in me. I have been a vegan for 27 years." And so this guy actually came in. Uh, got his, his visceral fat, and he was loaded. He had, if I remember correctly, in excess. He had, I think, more than this guy, and he was, uh, you know, a thin guy. He was a tofi, thin on the outside, fat on the inside, filled with visceral fat. So uh, it it immediately changed him. He saw that, and he went to to eating meat. Can you imagine? Twenty seven years oh, gets I love a, it. an MRI scan and decides to eat meat. So yeah, vegans have. I haven't seen. Um, a, a long-term older vegan ever uh, that does not have a, a elevated amount of visceral fat when they come in. They're almost always topies, thin on the outside, fat on the inside. And uh, uh, they just, they don't look good. They may not have a, a lot of uh, 
Uh, they may have a paucity of uh, subcutaneous fat. Sometimes they have a lot, depending on their lifestyle too. But uh, they they clearly have uh, a lot of visceral fat. So uh, and they just yeah. So you see how they handled that topic? Hmm. No research was shown. There is plenty of research on long-term vegans and populations like from the Seventh Day Adventist studies. None of that was presented. Okay. Now, this is not the first time that I've had interactions with Dr. Omara. In fact, I generally have respect for people who maintain high levels of health and fitness, especially uh, past 50, because look around you. People aren't looking like this. But yet, dude commented that he only works out five minutes a day. Okay, so from my perspective, that is somewhat outrageous and unlikely and unusual. And just my perspective, if someone has a history of claims that I think are unusual, then I might have to be suspect of claims that they make in the future or in the present. And so when I see claims that are suspect, I might need to see research to back that up. So Dr. Omara, when you watch this video, if you could send me some studies that show that vegans have higher visceral fat after long term, or really just any term, I would be interested in any studies that you could show me where vegans have higher levels of visceral fat. That would be interesting to me. That's all. All right, y'all know what time it is. Red pill vegan, next.